morning, friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kat. Consider me your like Twitch and content creation big sister, and I also do art tutorials. And if you're returning, welcome back. I've missed you. 2024 has just hit. I hope you guys made some great resolutions. But in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how to figure out what games should you stream on Twitch in this brand new year. I do this update literally every single year, and this year is absolutely no different. We're gonna go to my favorite data tracking website, which is called Solinome. And then on the homepage of Solinome, we wanna make sure we go over to where it says games on the left hand side and click that and then on the left hand side we're gonna go sort by most watched and for the timeline bar we want to click 90 days so we can get an accurate amount of data to then go and analyze so if you're unfamiliar with how to read all of this data don't worry i got you the number that we really care about is the number that's called the average viewer ratio so what this number is is the amount of average viewers at one time watching this category divided by the amount of channels that are streaming in this one category at said time so when you do the math, the higher the average ratio is, that means that there are more viewers who are interested in watching this category and less streamers streaming in this category. So obviously the bigger number, which means that most likely this category has the best discoverability. However, with this, you do want to take a couple of things into account. The first things first, game titles. Sometimes game titles, publishers or tournament organizers will stream the ranked tournaments for said game. For instance, League of Legends, right? At the end of January, around January 20th, LCS will start up again, which is North America's League of Legends series. LCS on their Twitch channel will be streaming the games and it does pull in substantial numbers. So just take into account that if you are considering a game category that you're familiar with, the number might be skewed a little bit higher towards large channels if it is during tournament season. But as of now, it's not currently the league tournament season yet. So it is pulling an average viewer ratio of about 54, which is really good. Going alongside this, Just Chatting has an average viewer ratio of 80, which is amazing. GTA 5 has an average viewer ratio of about 62, which is pretty standard for GTA. It always pulls good numbers. And as you can see, Fortnite has an average viewer ratio of only 12, which means this category is relatively oversaturated. When considering what games that you should stream for 2024, if I were you, I would make a list of my top five games that I could consistently stream without getting bored. So for me, that would be like League, Valorant, TFT. As of now, Stardew Valley and Coral Island. I'm a farming sim girly. And then go on to Salunum, go into this database and look at the average viewer ratio of all of the games that we have just listed. Where does your games rank? If I were you, I would pick the one or two games that has the highest average viewer ratio relative to the other games that you have listed. This would mean that these categories are relatively less saturated compared to the other ones you've listed and you would have better discoverability streaming in these categories. But looking at this list here, if you didn't have any games that came to mind, Just Chatting, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Teamfight Tactics, Dota 2, Rust, Hearthstone, and Path to Exile all seem to be pulling really good numbers. And the one other thing to consider in terms of games to stream in 2024, are new and up and coming titles that would be an immediate hit straight out the gate. So if I were you, some games that I would pay attention to are Tekken 8, I hope I pronounced that right, Persona 3 Reload, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, and Hades 2. And then the last one, Haunted Chocolatier, although the developer did not actually state when it would be coming out, but I predict probably 2024. All of these games that I just listed are actually like another version on top of a previous game that's made. Like Haunted Chocolatier is the game after Stardew Valley. It's not like a technically the same game, but the developer has not made a single game since making Stardew Valley and it is extremely hyped up. Same with Persona 3 Reload, it is part of the Persona series and extremely hyped up. And the same can go with any of the other games that I've listed. Another one to keep note of is GTA 6, which is unfortunately likely not gonna come out in 2024, but whenever GTA 6 comes out, it is going to break Twitch. Trust me. So if you're a streamer, I would hop on GTA 6 when that game comes out, whenever it decides to come out. But allegedly a financial report that was released indicates that it will be released in early 2025. So if you're a Twitch streamer, I hope this video has helped you out. The most important thing overall though, is to stream a game that you personally enjoy and can play for a very long time. Doesn't matter any of the data stats I tell you, if you're not enjoying what you're playing on stream, your viewers can see and it overall will affect your stream and people won't necessarily enjoy being around as much because they can see you suffering miserably when you're playing League of Legends when you swore you'd never touch the game. But again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below any other like Twitch and content creation videos that I should make that would help you out. Again, I have an Etsy in which I sell digital arts, overlays, etc. for Twitch streamers, and I have a coffee in which I have free arts and other resources for content creators like a master list of sponsorships. And I also stream on Twitch three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. PST. So I hope to catch you guys there or in another one of my videos. Peace.